As he said, this is from Chicago. It's the story of Roxy Hart, that young woman from the 1920s who shoots and kills her lover and then claims that he was a stranger, that he was someone she didn't know. So she gets this hotshot lawyer named Billy Flynn who creates a whirlwind of media frenzy that turns Roxy into a star. All the while, her husband Amos, who's rather timid and somewhat dull, begins to feel that no one notices him, no one cares about him, no one sees him, which leads to his one big number in the show when he gets to whine and moan and carry on and feel oh so sorry for himself. <laughs> If someone stood up in a crowd and raised his voice up way out loud and waved his arm and shook his leg, you'd notice him. If someone in the movie show yelled fire in the second row, this whole place is a powder keg, you'd notice him. And even without clucking like a hen, everyone gets noticed now and then. Unless, of course, that personage should be invisible, inconsequential me. Cellophane, Mr. Cellophane, should have been my name. And never know I'm there, I tell ya. Cellophane, Mr. Cellophane, should have been my name, Mr. Cellophane. Cause you can look right through me, walk right by me, and never know I'm there. Suppose you was a little cat resided in a person's flat, who fed you fish and scratched your ear, you'd notice him. Suppose you was a woman when, and sleeping in a double bed, beside one man for seven years, you'd notice him. Oh, human beings made of more than air. With all that bulk, you're bound to see him there. Unless that human being next to you is unimpressive, undistinguished, you know who. Thank <laughs> you.